angle this one angle o a c equals 180 degrees you all agree yes you guys agree yeah yeah <coughs> now as I, as we see this is an isosceles triangle meaning these two sides are same because both are radius that means this angle and this angle will be same i can say o c a o c a and o a c both are same so in the next statement i'll say angle a o c plus two times of this angle o c a equals 180 yeah because this one and this one are same this one and this one are same because it's an isosceles angle fine now second this is one equation okay now look at second equation here this angle and this angle this is making a straight angle right this angle plus this angle is 180 degrees yep so i can say angle a o d plus angle this angle a o c equals 180 degree agree meaning this angle plus this angle is 180 degree this is a straight line <coughs> now look at these two equations what do you find common this and this are common this and this are common what does it mean 2 OCA equal to angle AOD. So 2 times angle OCA equal to angle AOD. Now what is that? Angle AOD, this portion, only this, this part. This angle is A, AOD is 2 times of AOCA, this one. So this angle is 2 times of this angle. Now look at this triangle, same way. Here also it's an isosceles triangle. This angle will be equal to this angle. This angle plus this angle plus this angle will be 180 degree. This angle plus this angle will be 180 degree, meaning these two will be equal to this angle. And these two are same, so two times of this will be equal to this. Same way. Yeah? Did I rest through it? Yeah. I mean, did I rest through it or you understood? Understood. So, whatever treatment we did with this triangle and we found this relationship, same treatment we'll end up doing with this triangle. And we'll find this being two times of this. So now this be sorry, this being two times of this, and this being two times of this. Add them together. This being two times of this. Yep. So this this magic formula, you can you can do magic trick with anybody. I mean, while in this club, it might sound like a magic trick to you guys. This will become a norm when you. Look at circle theorems <coughs> later on. So this is one of the circle theorem which says if you have a circle, you take a card AD, make an angle on the center, call center angle. This angle will be two times of this angle. Any you pick any point, any point, any point on the perimeter. Make sure that this is on the same side of the card. Okay, make sure you are picking a point this side, not this side. <coughs> then the angle made at any point on the circle will be half of the angle made on the circle. Yep. Now, question time. I want to know who was not able to follow and who could not understand it well because that is an opportunity for me to do it again. Anybody? Lokshita, Sanvi. Ivan, Tanu, Vasundara, Vivuan, anybody? Yeah, Tanu. Can you show one more example? Okay. <coughs> See, now, one thing for sure I am feeling proud of myself is my skill that I have developed for drawing the circle. See how good the circle looks. Yep. Now, this is a circle. What we are trying to say is if I pick any two points on the perimeter A and B and join it with the center B 
this is called center angle if i put pick any point in the perimeter and join the another point in the perimeter and join that point let's say this is c and this is my center o what theorem we saw was this angle will be two times of this angle and this point can be anywhere. You can pick any point, anywhere, anywhere, literally anywhere. Just the condition being it has to be above, it has to be on the same side. That's all. You cannot pick a point here. You cannot pick the point below. Okay. This angle will be two times of this angle. What did we do? How did we prove? We just join this point with the center. Now we have two triangles. One triangle in blue. Other triangle in green. We picked the blue triangle and what we did was we just extended this line further. When you look at the blue triangle, blue triangle is an isosceles triangle. This side and this side same because it's both are radius. If it's an isosceles triangle, meaning this angle and this angle will be same. And we saw the, we know the sum of all the three angles in the triangle is 180 degrees. So that's what we did. So there, there are only two formulas, two things that you have to remember. Sum of all the angles is 180 degree and then a straight line makes 180 degree. A straight line makes, a straight line also makes 180 degree. This plus this will be 180 degree. There are two things that you have to take into account. When you look at the triangle making 180 degree, this plus this plus this equals 180 degree. And since it's an isosceles triangle, meaning this and this are same. So this angle plus two times of this angle is 180 degree. Again, this angle plus this angle is 180 degree. So now let's say this is 1, this is 2, this is 3. I'm just giving it a name so that it's faster. Angle 1 plus angle 2 plus angle 3 equal to 180 degree. Just a triangle. Now Angle 2 and 3 are same because it's an associated triangle. So we can say angle 1 plus 2 times of angle 2 equal to 180 degree. Yeah? Now you look at this one. This, this horizontal straight line. Angle 1. Angle 1 plus angle 4 equals 180 degree. So straight line making 180 degree. So if you look at this and this, what do you see? This and this are common. This and this are common. Meaning? This part is equal to this part, meaning 2 times of angle 2 equals angle 4, meaning 2 times of angle 2 equals angle 4. Same thing you can do this way also, same here, right? So here also you will end up finding this, 2 times of this angle will be equal to this. So let's give it a name 5 and just give it a name 6. So what you will find by doing the same treatment is 2 times of angle 5 will be angle 6. And let's say this angle is 7 and this angle is 8 together. Yeah. So now 2 times of angle 2 is equal to 4 and 2 times of angle 5 is equal to angle 6. Add them together. So 2 times of angle 2 plus angle 5 will be equal to angle 4 plus angle 6. Angle 4 plus angle 6. 2 times of this plus 2 times of this will be equal to this plus this. Now, 2 and 5 makes this larger angle 6, 8. So, 2 times of, of angle 8 will be equal to this angle, complete angle 7. This is what we wanted to prove that the angle made on the center is 2 times the angle made on the, on any point on the perimeter. And you can literally play with it. You can pick a point here, do the same thing, join them and then so, it will look optically different because, again, drawing it this way will be a little difficult. So, if you pick a point here, then at least you can see it well and then you can do it. If you pick a point very really down below, it will be a little difficult to plot it, but concept remains the same. Yeah? Who all is getting confused? and wanting to beat the teacher down. Nobody?
Vasundara, tell me. You had unmuted yourself, that's why I was asking. No? Nobody is wanting to beat the teacher down, right? No, beating is not an option in which way, but, but yeah. All right, but on a serious note, did you guys understand what I was trying to explain? Pranit? Yes, sir. Pranit? Yes. Lachita? Yes, sir. Yeah. Devuan, have you with me? Yes. Yeah, Tanvi, okay? Yeah. Okay, cool. So that's, that's pretty much what I had in my agenda for today. Let's use the next 10 minutes for doing at least one song and see if whatever concepts we have learned, are we able to apply that? This is a circle. And this is my diameter. It's going through the center. This angle is 20 degree. Find out the other two angles. This is a circle and this is my diameter. So basically my chord is my diameter. I'm asking you guys to find out the, the this angle is 20 degree. Find out the other two angles. Yeah, Michelle. Can I tell you? I think I know. Okay, tell me. One of the angles are 90 degrees and the other one is 70 degrees. That goes to it. Tell me the approach, the reasoning behind. So this is again just an extension extension of what we learned just now, right? See, this is your chord. This is your chord making one eighty degree at the center. See, I I mean even if what happened here? Um, if I have a circle. If I have a circle, I said any chord makes whatever angle it makes on the center is twice of the angle made anywhere else on the perimeter. That was the theorem that we proved just now. Now, I never said that the chord cannot be a diameter. I can have a circle, okay, and my chord is my diameter as well. And that is making 180 degree of the center. That is my center angle. If I pick any point, that will be half of this angle. Right? Same theorem. Eventually, this is second theorem. Of, uh, this is a second circle theorem, which says, my, if my chord is as a diameter, any place you pick, it makes 90 degrees. On the perimeter. Any lovely angle will be 90 degrees because this will be half of this aligns with the first theorem. So this will be half. So this is 90 degrees. If this is 90, this is 20, you know what is the rest. Yep. After, I think I think I saw a different way you can also approach it. Mm -hmm. That is? So the circle, you can, if you see, you said that it's half of it, right? The mm -hmm. one you drew like on the bottom, um, right? Uh -huh. um, See, now, now you are proving me right. Proving yeah. me right as in never ever think that there is only one way to solve a problem. 
all the concepts we learn every day, there'll be different ways to relate them. And once you re start relating those concepts, you can always, see, so that is why practice is very important. You learn a concept, you do enough, do enough practice so that it becomes yours. Tomorrow when you are dealing with problem, if you have solved the same problem in three different ways, you, you know, the, I mean, I, I don't know, I mean, you might apply, you might want to apply, you know, the, the understanding of the coordinate planes here to solve it, right? There are different ways of solving it. So, so basically, what I'm trying to say is, when you learn some concepts, you practice them enough, you will have multiple options to choose from when it comes to solving a problem, when, when you are on an exam. And you can always choose which one is faster, efficient for you, and you just go with it, right? So, practice is the key. Le focus on learning the concepts, knowing the approach is very important, and then I don't give you guys a lot of uh, you know, uh, homework. The reason being, I give you guys enough so that you can practice what you have learned, but there's no limit to the practice. And I, I certainly don't want to be hated by you guys by giving you guys a lot of assignments, right? You guys are, uh, you would not certainly not want to have 50, 50 problems at the same time because that doesn't add value for me. But then for you guys, you'll have to find out ways to practice, you know, debate, exchange questions among yourself. You guys are already on my WhatsApp uh, group. You can ask questions to each other. Say, okay, fine, I came across some interesting problem. Can somebody try solving it? Challenge each other. That way, you'll be able to practice, learn things in a more playful way, and things will remain with you for a much longer time. Yeah? Make sense? Yeah. So, math is not a subject where you would want to stress out. I said,